हेलो एवरीवन आई एम विजय गाडबे एंड वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सो टिल नाउ वी हैव क्रिएटेड द रियल टाइम एंड पॉइंट एंड द बैच एंड पॉइंट एज वेल एज वी हैव मेड द प्रडिक्शंस नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल क्रिएट द न्यू रियल टाइम एंड पॉइंट अगेन बट दिस टाइम वी विल नॉट यूज द कंप्यूट टाइप एज अजूअर कंटेनर इंस्टेंसेज इंस्टेड ऑफ दैट वी विल यूज द कंप्यूट एज ए के एस कंप्यूट सो लेट एस गो टू द अजूअर मशीन लर्निंग स्टूडियो and do the same welcome to this tutorial till now in this section we have created the real time end point and batch inference end point as well as we have made the predictions now in this tutorial we will create the real time end point again but this time we will not use the azure container instance instead of that we will use the aks compute let us begin go to pipelines we already created the real time inference pipeline so we don't have to create this again click on deploy and here you can see under the compute type we have two options previously we have selected the azure container instance now we will select the aks compute we haven't created the aks compute so let us create the same first and then we will deploy the same Here I have opened another Azure Machine Learning Studio. Scroll down, go to Compute, Kubernetes Cluster, New, select AKS Compute. We will create new one. First, we have to specify the location, East US. After specifying the location, we will get the option to select the virtual machine sizes. Here I'll select this virtual machine. standard a4 v2 it has 4 cores 8 gb ram and 40 gb storage select next let us specify the name aks compute 01 then we have to specify the cluster purpose production or development test i'll select dev test after selecting this option we can minimize the number of nodes to 1 and when we select production then we have to specify minimum number of node as 3 so select this one dev test number of nodes 1 network configuration basic and create creating aks compute is creating you can see the state here now it will take bit time to create the same so i'll fast forward the process so the aks compute is created successfully here you will get all the details about this aks compute like compute name cluster name compute type and so on now go to another tab let us deploy the same this is the real time inference pipeline that we have created earlier click on deploy let us specify the name poisson regression real time endpoint aks compute remove the space let us give the description real time endpoint with aks compute compute type aks compute select the compute name advanced keep all the options under the advanced as default like scoring timeout auto scale enabled yes minimum replicas maximum replicas target utilization refresh period cpu reserve capacity and memory reserve capacity deploy deploying model let us check the same go to endpoints under the real time endpoints you can see the same poisson regression real time endpoint aks compute deployment state transitioning it indicates that the service is in the progress of deployment refresh 
state is same transitioning ignore the notifications now it will take 20 to 30 minutes for the deployment so i'll fast forward the process so the deployment state is healthy the healthy state indicates that the service is healthy and the endpoint is available now click on test from here you can test the endpoint this is the first input this is the second input and this is the third one now click on test and here you can see this is the real value and this is the predicted value same here real value predicted value real value and the predicted value now go to consume from here you can consume this endpoint this is the rest endpoint this is the url for the same then the consumption option here we have three consumption types python c sharp and r using these three programming languages you can consume this real time endpoint so this tutorial about creating the real time endpoint with the aks compute ends here i'll see you in the next one till then Happy learning.